Hey, what's up, Fragrance family? This is Tyler with Simply Fragrances, and today I'm bringing you my weekly rotation. Now, this is gonna be the last week of 2021, but also the first part of the week of 2022. I'm gonna start the year off right, and uh, we're gonna get in to see what I wore this week. So if you wanna see what that is, be sure to keep it right here. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Tyler. This is my channel, Simply Fragrances, where we talk everything fragrance related. We're doing weekly fragrance rotations. We're doing fragrance reviews. We're doing giveaways, top 10 videos, seasonal videos, everything that encompasses fragrances you can find right here. So if that sounds like something that you wanna be a part of, be sure and hit that red subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love and support you have shown this channel. Guys, we are at 893. We're literally like 107 uh, subscribers subscribers away from the goal of a thousand. So guys, let's keep pushing this guys. My goal is to get above a thousand this year. And I definitely think that that is possible. So let's keep pushing these videos guys, keep showing the love and support and we'll get there in no time. So like I said, this is going to be my weekly fragrance rotation. And I kind of got off of that for a little bit because I started like halfway through the year and it just, I don't know, kind of felt weird. And there was a couple of weeks where I missed it. And so I want to try my best uh, for at least this year of 2022 to do a you know weekly rotation every week and you know before i've had austin you know rate my freak uh weekly fragrance rotations uh i've had my wife you know she's rated them and stuff like that and so i'll definitely bring that back and you know get some other cool ways of doing it other than just you know hearing about what i wore that week so we'll make it entertaining and we'll make it fun but for this one it's just going to be me and you guys and me telling you what i wore so uh man what a great great week so this week it started off like in the 60s 70s which is super weird for the last week of december and then as we start 2022 at least where i'm at it's really cold it's like i think 17 degrees 20 degrees something like that currently so that's why i got my hoodie on and chiefs are playing let's go chiefs um but uh really great week to start because i got just a smorgasbord of different fragrances so really excited to get into it let's go ahead and dive in so on monday it was like 65 degrees almost 70 the perfect day honestly it was sunny clear blue skies not a cloud in sight and i just couldn't think of a better fragrance to wear than zaharoff signature rose this one has captivated me guys i love this fragrance this is my favorite release of 2021. Uh, George, man, you just knocked it out of the park with this. I'm so honored to have this in my collection. All right, guys, so that brings us to Tuesday. And this fragrance came in the day before. So it came in on Monday. I picked it up on Monday as well as some other fragrances. But I was super excited to finally get a full bottle of this. I've done a first impressions video of imaginary authors. And man, they're just a house that has captivated me. I love them. They're just so unique. They take the the skill and art of perfuming and just um, just making amazing fragrances smell one amazing but also very unique so on Tuesday I went with the Cobra and the Canary and this is so crazy so uh, the notes that you're gonna get the main part at least off my nose is the lemon the tobacco and the leather and you wouldn't think that lemon and tobacco and leather go great together but somehow this just smells absolutely fantastic like Man, this like this cap is just super on there. Holy moly. Wow, I took off the little uh, top of that, so that's not good. But uh, I'll get to that here in a second. Anyways, this stuff, guys, you just may get a douse of that leather and that lemon. And the lemon, it's not like, it's not the star of the show by any means, but it definitely makes itself known and it lets you know it's there. But it kind of takes like, just this back seat if you will it's still in the car but you're not that's not the main forefront what you're really going to get in the main forefront is that leather note and it's it's a kind of a sweet um just very powerful leather but at the same time it's not so powerful that it's like it gives you a headache because sometimes you get those leather fragrances you're like man this is just almost too much this one doesn't do that i don't know how they've done that excuse me, with that lemon and leather, but it is absolutely perfect for a cooler day. And All right, guys, so that brings us to Wednesday, and Wednesday was another great day. It was like 55, 60 degrees, and I couldn't think of a better fragrance to go with 
than slow explosions from imaginary authors again this is another one that i got in on uh, monday and this one has captivated me just as easily guys the notes you're gonna get in here are saffron rose leather and apple that's like the main stuff there's also cashmere benzoin and then there's an imaginary note of porous night market so i kind of like a you know a middle eastern uh, spice market but what you're really going to get is that rose that leather and the apple very heavy up front and then as it dries down you get that saffron that comes through and just smooths things out and makes it super sweet <clears throat> but not too sweet, not like, you know, bubblegum type sweet or just like obnoxiously sweet. It just gives it uh, the right amount of sweetness to just really smooth everything out. But the apple in there is just absolutely amazing. Honestly, apple has become one of my all time favorite fragrance notes. And just the way that it's used in perfumery is just absolutely amazing. I love it. It's not super honestly feminine. I mean, it's it's pretty unisex. My wife, she wore it and it, it did go a little bit leather on her skin at first and then on my skin the leather did come out but what was really prominent was the apple and the rose and then as the saffron came through it just kind of sweetened everything up and then the leather started to really kind of show its uh you know show its magic and uh honestly both of those fragrances man they just they they perform super well great projection great longevity you're gonna get you know six to seven hours of you know decent wear off of it depending on how many sprays you do uh, i typically do four to five and uh, that's a full work day so guys what more can you ask for so wednesday was slow explosions from imaginary authors all right guys moving right along sorry for the camera angle change uh the sun is like really peeking through and i got one of those sliding uh glass doors with like the little strips it looks like uh for the, the, the curtain so uh it's kind of annoying so i'm kind of having to deal with that but uh thursday was another good day it was kind of chilly it was like i think 45 to 50 degrees maybe just a little you know a, a hair above 50 and i wanted to go old school i wanted to go with something i haven't worn in a while and i've had this for probably a year or so and i've only worn it a couple times and i don't know why because i absolutely love this fragrance and i got a lot of compliments off of it it sounds weird but uh my best friend and the guy that i started a business with he was like dude i really like that what are you wearing and uh, I told him what it was, and it was a Zaro Pour Homme. And what's crazy is he's even a little bit younger than me. And he was like, man, you've really kind of got me on these barbershop old school fragrances. So uh, if you're new to the channel, um, I really just love the old school barbershop fougeres. I don't know what it is. There's just a class and a, a regalness to them. And there's just something just super masculine about them. And uh, Austin, he was like, man, like that smells really good. Like I need to get some of that. So I'm going to make him a couple samples of some different different uh, fougeres that I got and uh, he's kind of really getting into that stuff so I'm making a frag head out of him yet but uh, Wednesday or sorry Thursday Azaro Porom just this old school barbershop fougere type of a fragrance it is a little bit dated I'm not gonna lie just in the initial opening it's gonna be a little bit synthetic and you're gonna get a lot of that alcohol up top but as it dries down it's just this beautiful kind of spicy peppery barbershop fougere and then and kind of the i'd say later part of the dry down it does kind of get this you know creamy barbershop shaving foam type of like barbersol uh you know vibe to it but overall really good really classy super masculine so if you want something a little bit old school um but i still think is relevant even though it does smell a little bit dated uh azaro porom i think it's uh definitely a good choice for you so also on that day, guys, I got something in the mail and I was super excited about it. Probably just saw a little bit of it, but uh, I wanted to give this a full wearing, a full testing before I did my review on it. I just put up that video, uh, at, well, I put it up today, but as you see this video, it'll be two days ago, put the video up on Sunday. Um, and this was Armoff and this is Armoff Club Dini Wheat uh, Sillage and this stuff, man, this is magic in a bottle. I love this stuff. This is their version of Silver Mountain Water, and I'm absolutely blown away at this stuff, guys. This smells exactly like an older batch of Silver Mountain Water. I stood it in the video, I had an older, and that sun is just like creeping in. Uh, I had an older batch of 2000, I think it was a 2013 batch of Silver Mountain Water, and that is just, it's so spot on that it's actually just, it's kind of scary that, you know, a knockoff can be 
just as good and now better than the current formulations of you know silver mountain water that we have so all right guys so that brings us to friday and friday was new year's eve and i wanted to go with something really special something that i really love i don't wear this just a whole lot just because it is a vintage batch it's really hard to find and this is considered um kind of the grail if you will the grail batch i've heard so many people talk about this is the greatest batch they've ever smelled even you know some of the older batches they're like no this is this is pretty uh pretty spot on it's got the right amount of fruitiness to you know the kind of that sea salt caramel vibe to it um so what am i talking about guys i'm talking about creed's millisum imperial this stuff is absolutely amazing and the batch i'm talking about is a 15x01 so i took i think a year and a half almost two years to track this down for a decent reasonable price i just saw this same exact batch going for like 320 bucks which i mean in retrospect isn't terrible i mean retail it's like you know four or five hundred bucks so you're still saving money on that but um, i got this for around 200 bucks or so got a really good deal on it um, but it is just absolutely amazing guys it's got this perfect blend of the fresh fruitiness to that sea salt caramel vibe so um just really fresh citrusy aquatic up top and then it's got that kind of salted caramel vibe to go with it and you get this sea salted airy type of vibe that just makes you think of you know the ocean and uh, it's kind of just invocative of you know just i think italy honestly just you know being on the seaside of italy and just the fresh citruses that they got there um, i think that's what it's really supposed to invoke and it's kind of all right so that brings us to saturday and uh, that was january 1st so starting off the new year fresh citrusy and light with a little bit of a relaxing vibe to it it was raining all day that day and it was just kind of a lazy day didn't really do much until later that night uh in the evening and uh man i was just in my pajamas up until probably i'm kind of ashamed to admit this but i think at like 2 2 30 <laughs> i didn't really do anything except just chill out watch some college football uh lay around on the couch with my dogs and uh, what was i wearing guys i was wearing banana republic's pure white and i know there's been a lot of niche in here but i do have designers i do like the designers and uh you know i've had a lot of people comment and say man like you ever wear any designers that you have so <laughs> i do wear designers but uh, in the morning i was just going with this i was feeling light and fresh Man, this is just, it's so light, airy, uh, very, very citrusy. There's a bit of a tea note in here that just kind of gives you this just relaxing vibe to it. Uh, and it was just a perfect day to wear it because it was cold and rainy. And normally I would kind of save that for like the summertime, but for some reason, just maybe it was because, you know, I had the heat going on in the house with a little space heater because it got pretty cold. It was like, I think 20 something degrees i don't know it was, it was pretty darn cold uh, so maybe the heat going with that just set this perfect tone for a relaxing saturday with the rain going and just not doing much so that was what i wore saturday morning and then saturday night me and the wife uh we went on a little bit of a date night uh kind of went and uh, went to the mall smelled some fragrances got some good indian food afterward that's one of our favorite um restaurants it's called zaika and it, or zaika and it's just absolutely amazing perfect indian food and i went with apart from mr marley Harriet. i haven't wore this as much as i thought i would I, just, I don't know why if i just think of saving it for more special occasions or whatnot but this stuff man it is just absolutely stunning sweet honey tobacco um lots of honey in there and it's just absolutely captivating guys especially for the cooler weather there's just almost nothing better. Um, I mean, if you guys haven't smelled that, but you've smelled Mont Blanc Legend Night, those are kind of in the similar, uh, you know, wheelhouse, if you will. Uh, Mont Blanc is just a little bit lighter. This one definitely does have a deeper richness to it, but you're still gonna get that sweet honey and tobacco vibes for it. Uh, just, you know, more rich in depth, excuse me. But uh, it is just absolutely captivating, guys. I love that fragrance. It cuts right through the colder weather and, uh, I want to say it got down to like 17 degrees, something like that, 17, 15 degrees in there. And I sprayed it on my jacket and I could just smell it through the cold air and it just smelled so good. It is just a winter uh, 
beast honestly so uh that all right and that brings us to today on sunday the day of filming the day that you're going to see this is on monday uh i'll probably try and do it on sundays or have the video released on sundays but uh you know just this week this is just how it works so anyway so today for uh, uh in the morning it was still really cold i got up and it was snowing it was like 12 degrees outside when i took my dogs out and i was like man it is brick cold outside so i need something to keep me warm and i couldn't think of anything better then from the house of Amwash, this is Jubilation 25. And this is one of my all time, like literally all time favorite fragrances. This is blackberry, honey, and incense. And it just smells like Middle Eastern royalty, guys. This stuff is so good, so potent, so strong. I went with two sprays because that's all you really need. And I can still honestly smell it on my hoodie. And I just, ah, man, I love this stuff. So regal, so classy, so sophisticated. It is the on wash they just do just the art of perfumery just so well i love it everything is top-notch ingredients and you definitely get what you pay for that stuff will always be in my collection like i said blackberry honey incense there's frankincense there's myrrh there's a little bit of oud there's some rose it's just man it has everything but the kitchen sink in there and it is done to perfection so that's what i wore this morning when we went to church and man it is just absolutely captivating and then tonight i haven't worn it yet but i know exactly what i'm going to wear we're going to go over to uh austin jessica's house uh you know my best friend and uh, you know the guy i started the business with but we're going to have some dinner over there play a game with him and uh, what i'm going to wear tonight is another great honey tobacco fragrance it's got this just beautiful honey cigar type of tobacco to it it's a new release of 2021 comes from the house of zaharoff so you probably know what i'm talking about and this is zaharoff's tobacco and this stuff it is just absolutely stunning super sweet honey tobacco but not too sweet not like annoyingly sweet but it does have a pretty good honey vibe to it and i love this stuff guys as you can see i've already put you know a decent dent into it i mean for you know not having it for very long and how many fragrances i have i've sprayed this quite a bit guys and the cool thing about it is it's light enough on your skin that it's not going to give you a headache but it's thick enough to where it pushes out and it projects and people around you can smell you without it being too overly bearing and it's just absolutely stunning and beautiful guys i love this fragrance uh, i'm going to be wearing it quite a bit throughout the colder months and even into the springtime i think it's going to play uh, a pretty big part into my weekly fragrance rotation so that is what i wore this week guys all right guys that's going to do it for this video thank you so much for watching and taking some time out of your day to spend with me I really do appreciate that. Uh, guys, comment down below what you thought of the lineup. I thought it was a pretty good lineup, a pretty good mix. Uh, you know, only two designers, well, three designers in there. So nothing too bad. Um, and just a great uh, rotation of niche, of, uh, you know, different uh, unique fragrances, if you will. Uh, but uh, I really enjoyed this week. And it looks like this upcoming week is going to be pretty cold. So going to be getting into some more of those thicker winter fragrances. Really excited about that. But comment down below, guys. What did you wear this week? What was your favorite fragrance? fragrance you wore did you guys get any compliments i mean we always love those compliments right so comment down below what your favorite fragrance was if you got a compliment on it we'll open that comment section up and i'll catch you guys there so like i said gonna do it for this video guys i'm gonna catch you guys next time and remember if you love it where